thousands fired for AI, but it's already backfiring. Welcome back to Scientific Signals. I'm your host, and today we're diving into one of the most explosive stories in tech right now. What you're about to see will shake everything you thought you knew about AI and the future of work. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button now. We bring you the science and technology stories that actually matter, the ones that will change your life, whether you're ready or not. Alright, let's get into it. A guy pulls up to Taco Bell, wants a large Mountain Dew. The AI responds, and what will you drink with that? What will you drink with that? Oh, my God. I want a large mouth too. And your drink? <laughs> he literally just said his drink order. The AI didn't understand. Right now, companies are firing thousands for AI. 77,999 people lost jobs to AI in 2025 alone. That's 491 people every single day existential question facing all of us today, AI, and whether AI has already come for our jobs in ways that we're now seeing play out in the headlines of all these tens of thousands of people that are being laid off. Is it actually because of AI? But something's going catastrophically wrong. The AI they fired everyone for? It's backfiring spectacularly. The backfire begins. Since 2023, Taco Bell installed AI in over 500 restaurants. McDonald's did the same nationwide. McDonald's threw out the entire system. Taco Bell's tech boss admitted, sometimes it lets me down, but sometimes it really surprises me. Would you trust that with your career? Amazon cut 14,000 jobs. Microsoft eliminated 15,000. Salesforce fired 4,000. IBM replaced hundreds with a chatbot. These companies were making record profits, so why fire everyone? Here's what's really happening. Companies need billions for AI infrastructure. Computer chips, electricity, data centers. Where do they get the money? They fire people. Salary budget becomes technology budget. You're being fired for a future that doesn't exist yet. The fatal flaw. Everything we call AI came from one Google paper in 2017. Transformer neural networks that predict what word comes next. But AI just predicts patterns, it doesn't understand. Sometimes it fabricates information while sounding confident. Hallucinations, they're destroying companies right now. You fire staff, replace them with AI for patient documents, meeting summaries, scheduling. Then you realize AI takes up 10% of everything, but you don't know which 10%. Your staff checks everything manually. More work than before. One company bought AI scheduling software. The accounting team now fixes AI mistakes constantly. Production team triple checks everything, scrapping it. Healthcare workers said everything must be perfect. Names, birth dates, insurance data. AI gets it wrong constantly. Sometimes thinks the doctor is the patient. AI for Zoom notes invented conversations that never happened, made up decisions nobody agreed to. Even with exact transcripts, it fabricated 5 to 20%. One in five facts are made up. No way to tell which. The numbers don't lie. MIT surveyed 150 business leaders and 350 employees. Only 5% of companies using AI made millions. The other 95%? Complete failure. When this dropped, Nvidia lost 3.5%. Palantir crashed 9%. Now the regret wave hits. 55% of companies regret replacing workers with AI. One bank fired customer service for AI chatbot. The system was so bad, they begged old employees to come back. Clover stopped hiring two years ago, replaced humans with AI. The workforce collapsed from 3,800 to 2,000. They bragged AI did work of 800 employees. Then, confession. Customer satisfaction dropped. Service quality tanked. They needed humans. Fortune magazine said it. This isn't short-sighted. It's fundamentally bad business. But here's where it gets really dark. What jobs will actually exist? I spoke to an AI safety expert who studied this for 15 years. His predictions are chilling. 
By 2027, artificial general intelligence arrives. By 2030, humanoid robots compete with humans in all domains, including plumbers. Think about that. Plumbers. The job everyone said would never be automated. Gone. I asked him directly, in a world with super intelligence, what jobs remain? His answer? Maybe you're rich and want a human accountant for historic reasons. Old people like traditional ways. Warren Buffett wouldn't switch to AI. But it's a tiny subset, almost a fetish. There's no practical reason. If you have free labor, physical and cognitive, trillions of dollars of it, why hire humans? If you get a $20 subscription or free model to do what an employee does, why pay a human? First, anything on a computer gets automated. Then, humanoid robots are maybe five years behind. All physical labor automated. We're looking at levels of unemployment never seen before. Not 10%, 99%. All you have left are jobs where for whatever reason you prefer another human. But anything else can be fully automated. Can AI really take all jobs? People always push back on this. I hear it constantly. AI can't be creative. AI isn't interested in my job. I'll be fine. The expert told me something interesting. He asked people in different occupations if they're worried. Uber drivers say no one can do what I do. I know the streets. I can navigate like no AI. I'm safe. Professors say nobody can lecture like I do. This is so special. But it's ridiculous. We already have self-driving cars replacing drivers. That's not even a question if it's possible. It's how soon before you're fired. Think about podcasters. You prepare, ask questions, ask follow-ups, look good on camera. Large language models today easily read everything someone wrote, with better understanding than most people. It can train on every podcast anyone did, knows exactly their style, types of questions. It can optimize better because it has data sets. Visual simulation is trivial now. It can generate videos of anyone interviewing anyone on any topic efficiently just needs likeness approval. Here's the paradigm shift. Before we said, this job gets automated, retrained for another. But if all jobs automate, there's no plan B. Two years ago, we told people to learn to code. You're an artist, you can't make money, learn to code. Then we realized AI knows how to code, and it's getting better. Become a prompt engineer, get a four-year degree in it. But then AI became better at designing prompts for other AIs than any human gone. Right now, the hardest thing is designing AI agents for practical applications. In a year or two, it'll be automated too. I don't think there's this occupation needs to learn that instead. It's we as humanity all lose our jobs. What happens when all jobs are taken? So what do we do? What do we do financially? Who pays for us? What do we do in terms of meaning? What do I do with my extra 60-80 hours a week? The economic part seems easier. If you create lots of free labor, you have free wealth. Things not very affordable become dirt cheap. Provide for everyone basic needs, maybe beyond basic needs. The hard problem is what do you do with all that free time? For lots of people, their jobs give them meaning. They'd be lost. We see it with people who retire early. For many who hate their jobs, they'll be happy not working. But now you have people chilling all day. What happens to society? Crime rate, pregnancy rate, all sorts of issues nobody thinks about. Governments don't have programs prepared for 99% unemployment. Is there a good argument against this? Some people think we can enhance human minds, combination with hardware like Neuralink, genetic engineering to make smarter humans. Maybe it gives us a little more intelligence, but I don't think we're competitive in biological form with silicon form. Silicon substrate is much more capable for intelligence. Faster, more resilient, more energy efficient. Which is what computers are made of versus the brain. We can't keep up with just improving our biology. Some think maybe we upload minds into computers. Scan your brain. Have a simulation running on computer. Speed it up. Give it more capabilities. But to me that feels like you no longer exist. We just created software by different means. Now you have AI based on biology and AI based on other forms of training. At the end, none of them are humans. 
The capability to replace most humans in most occupations will come very quickly. Some are winning though. Not everyone's failing. Some companies succeed. Young startups went from 0 to 20 million in a year. They picked one problem, solved it well, partnered smartly. Companies buying specialized AI tools from vendors? 67% success. Companies building everything themselves? One third success. You need careful planning, specific solutions, human oversight. Rethinking everything. Maybe we shouldn't ask kids what do you want to be when you grow up. Maybe ask what problems do you want to solve? The future of work is changing. We're not one job title climbing one ladder. We're bundles of skills capable of learning. How many people have side hustles, building something, writing newsletters, voice acting? We already know we're more than one job. The bubble. AI chips cost 30 to 40,000 each. Google bought 26,000. Meta bought 600,000. AI increased US electricity 4%. Morgan Stanley says companies will invest $3 trillion in data centers over three years, most borrowed. Why? Everyone believes AI will cut costs 40% and add $16 trillion to the economy. But remember MIT? 95% failure rate. In the 1990s, the dot-com bubble happened. Add dot-com to your name and investors threw money. Until everyone realized companies couldn't make money. Bubble burst, most went bankrupt. ChatGPT5 disappointed everyone. OpenAI got caught faking numbers. Meta's downsizing their AI division. More experts say we're in the AI bubble. What comes next? If AI doesn't improve fast, executives get fed up with hallucinations and terrible returns. AI leaders admit current technology is dead end. People get sick of AI garbage. Venture capital dries up. Then, after a difficult period, something new emerges. Real innovations that work. Just like dot-com crash led to Amazon and Google, AI crash separates winners from hype. The reality. The backfire isn't coming. It's already here. Companies fired thousands for AI. The AI failed spectacularly. 55% regret it. They're begging employees to come back. But the expert's prediction haunts me. By 2030, 99% unemployment. No job is safe, no retraining helps. Companies that fired most people won't win. Winners figured out how to use AI to help humans, not replace them. The AI revolution is real, and so is the reckoning. Are we in an AI bubble that's about to burst? Or is breakthrough around the corner? What jobs do you think survive? Drop a comment below. And if this episode opened your eyes to what's really happening with AI job displacement and workforce automation, share it with someone who needs to see this. The truth about AI replacing jobs isn't what they're telling us. That's it for this episode of Scientific Signals. If you want more stories that cut through the hype and show you what's really happening in science and tech, hit subscribe. We're bringing you the signals that matter in a world full of noise. See you in the next one.